Então, as posições das composições. O que me dá para mim? Ama şimdi A V'den B'ye gidiyor. B O zaman nasıl kompoz ediyorsun? Hani e, şey var. <gülüyor> <gülüyor> Evet, orada bir sıkıntı var. Fark eder mi? Şey Yok, öyle de etmiyor. Peki bu arada bir numara olması lazım ama. Evet, bu, bu, bu soru ne ki? Ama şey diye, sadece zorunlaki bir bayılık form, form, şöyle ki. Daha sonra form, form, form, The vector space. Thanks. Yeah. Or 
and by the end, uh, we make this this uh, D. Yeah, we will start this and uh, and on the G matrices divided by B and D. So these are matrices now. I just think things of uh okay, okay. okay. okay. I suppose we find it first. Yes, it's it's made it. Uh, by the Okay. Uh, then it's made it uh, sorry, uh, by the art here. Uh, uh, this is clearly by the uh, uh, to make a form of a shimba, e of yeah, the show it in this direction. Okay, so it is a unit and in a product show it be not to be Trace of in transform E. Uh, now, what is this? Uh, any uh, uh, matrix and its transpose is the same place, right? Because when you take transpose, diagonal entries doesn't change. So, trace of this one and its transpose, then this widget has the same trace. A transpose B transpose. But this is just B transpose A, and this is just B F. Okay, so inner product of A and B is the same as B and A. Uh, so Hocam birkaç saniye daha gösterebilir misiniz? Teşekkür ederim. Hı hı. So, this is the subject. Why it is supposed to be definite? It is because of the following. Uh, Let's say the matrix A has uh, columns C1, C2, C I. Right? These are the columns. And B has columns. Uh, uh, let's say B1, B2, C I. What is A transpose then? A transpose. Uh, so each column becomes a row, right? So I have C1, C2, C2. And what is A transpose B? So I have this rows. C1, C2, C, and, and then here I have B1, B2, B1. Uh, these are uh, rows. But as in the heavy color, row giving us a job. Put them in the same transform now. I write as a row. Uh, so these are. That's the black lady transpose like this. Okay, now what is the uh, object in your case? 
IJ entry is the following. You take the height row here and then multiply with the J column. So it is nothing but IJ entry is the product of height row here and then you take product with the J column. This is a row matrix. This is a color matrix, right? This is one by n. This is n by one. Therefore, the product is one by one. So this is just a real number. Real number. Uh, what is trace? Trace is the uh, sum of diagonal entries. So I have to. Uh, uh, take art, art entry of this variable entry. So it is nothing but the I transpose times the I. So in the product of A and B, then we just it was trace of A transpose B. So it is the sum of these entries, therefore it is the sum of these entries. See, I transpose to I, I to I, I to I. Okay, these are the columns, and these are the columns. And the inner product is just, you take the product as uh, matrices of the, uh, Transpose of the height column with the uh, height column of B. Uh, transpose of the height column of A times the uh, height column of B. In particular, what is the uh, inner product of A in itself? Uh, that will be just I from one up to I, PI I transpose, and then I have CI. So you take the I color and take uh, its transpose and then uh, multiply it with this digit. Uh, this is nothing but. Uh, Just uh, okay, not square like C I, right? Well, yeah, I'm sure they are doing this. Uh, C I not square or C I transpose C I. Uh, suppose this is just so the height curve is what. Uh, and she will say the appeal x1, x2, x n, uh, height column, uh, transport of height column, and this is the height column. So, what would be this? This would be just xi squared, i plus one of two. Therefore, you know, these are all non negative, and actually, uh, this will be positive, provided that one in three is not zero. So, this thing is strictly positive unless, unless all these vectors are the zero vectors. But if all these vectors are zero, then A is zero because these are the columns of A. So if all columns are zero, then A should be zero. Unless A is the zero. Yani A matrisi sıfır olmadığı sürece bu kilo product pozitif. Aslında şunu da görmüş oluyorsunuz. Mesela 
şöyle olsaydı uh, ok so uh, note that this new product this skin new product is equal So, uh, so this bit is just you see this is just i from one to n in i in i where a is this right the first column second column and column and then you just take this uh, uh, products and sum them up so it uh, would be the same thing if we uh, wrote it like uh, this and would it be back this year uh, take the circle like I said so if you write this thing uh, just uh, yeah the shredding uh, Şöyle, şöyle, A, B, Z. O zaman burası D oldu. Değil mi? Evet. Şimdi A'yı ve B'yi bu da D1, D2 ve N. Bakın bunu şöyle yazsaydım. Tek bir tane Evet, tek bir tane sütun gibi yazsaydı. Yani şöyle. D1 bunu şöyle koysaydım. Bir sütun. D2 böyle. D2 böyle. Ee, bu ne olacaktır? Her birisi bunun en çarpı bir. Değil mi? En çarpı bir, en çarpı bir, en çarpı bir. Öyleyse this is n squared uh, plus one uh, times one. Yani tüm sayısız d1, d2, dn and squared plus one and then you take these two vectors right there n squared times one matrices two vectors in r n squared i can regard them as two matrices in r n squared and what is this uh, you just take the standard inner product in Rn squared. Yani bunu real karede bir vektör olarak görürseniz bunu da öyle. Bu iki vektörün iç çarpımını alıyorsunuz. Bizim example bir dakikti. Yani isterken şöyle diyeyim. Special case. Mesela L2 olayım. So and to R. 2 by 2 real matrices. Let's say here is this. A, B, C, D. Uh, B is this one. E, F, G, H. Uh, what is uh, trace of uh, A times uh, A times for B? Well, it is trace of uh, a transport group. Şimdi bakalım nedir bu? Uh, yani aslında neyse ki yazayım. Uh, transpozu aldık. A, C, B, D, E, F, G, H, N. So what is this? Trace of uh, sadece diagonal etimleri yazsak olur. A, E plus C, Z değil mi? Burada da uh, B, F bir uç. So when you take trace you get
you get this. But what is this gadget? Just write this matrix, matrix A with this CD is a common matrix. So A, C, D, D, write it like this. And write this one E, F, G, H. So I write it like this first column E, G, F, and H. So they are what? Four by one matrices, and then you just take the inner product of these two gadgets A, C, B, D, inner product E, G, F, H. Is it example one? So, what is this inner product? You just multiply corresponding entries and add them up. So, a times A, C times G, B times F, B times H. So it is this one. So this inner product is actually nothing but the standard product on RN squared. But you just take this gadget, this row uh, or this column, and write it as a, a square matrix. Uh, and then you take the uh, inner product in a fancier way. So this inner product here, this inner product is actually equal to the inner product of these two uh, vectors in R4. Hello? Yani aslında aynı şeyi farklı gösteriyoruz. İkisi de aynı şey. Okay. Okay. Uh... There is this exercise, let's do this because it's just uh, uh, in our that space. Inner product space means uh, base. Uh, here we go divided by four. Four is symmetric uh, and uh, uh, what uh, positive difference. But that was different of yourself, yeah. Yeah, that's not uh round vision or say it had okay uh in product space uh You and B and you are equal and you if and only if uh U X equals B X for all X in B. 
So in a little product space, uh, I would call this a Euclidean space because B doesn't have to be finite dimension. Okay. So uh, if it is symmetric and positive definite, then we say that it's a linear product space. Uh, and in a linear product space, two vectors are the same if and only if uh, their inner product is all vectors in B are equal to each other. Yani have they are vector that each chart is equal to the same vector is equal to the same Of course, this direction is clear. Right? This direction is clear. Because if U and E are the same, then of course these are the same. Uh, for this direction, Okay, now suppose uh, okay, uh, mu x equals mu x for uh, x. Bigger side of the must show. W, which is u by this b is equal to zero. If these are the same, then this is zero. In other words, u equals b. But that is clear from the following. Okay. Next you What is this? This is just U minus X. No, U minus V. Jump We should have done it all. Okay. Let's consider this in a product. So u minus v in a product means u minus v. Uh, what is this? Well, this is just okay. Uh, so it is linear in the first uh, component. So this is u e minus v. Minus or plus minus v, u minus v. And it is linear in the second component. So I can write it like this u, u plus u minus v plus, and then same thing here minus v, u, and minus v, minus v. Okay, uh, so this is U, U. This minus sign goes out by the linear. So this is U, V, and then this is V, uh, U, and then I have minus V, uh, minus V, both minus signs again. Uh, becomes uh, this widget, and then we do what? Uh, you see, we we know that uh, what is given to us is the following. Right? We know that 
inner product of u and x is the same as d and x for all x. So if I uh, Okay, uh, surely it's it to look. This is view, view, and then we can have six symmetric and like this. And uh, okay, so this is really u plus the other surely it's it, u v, d, you see, u v, six symmetric. Now you see uh, you that for, uh, inner product with x is equal to d inner product with x, right? So if I let here u equals x uh, according to this, so here I write just uh, u u dot u is b dot u u dot u is b dot u therefore these are equal therefore this two is just zero and here just let x equals v so u dot v and v dot v one of them is minus the other one is plus therefore this thing is also zero right so this thing is zero minus this thing is zero, we get zero. So the inner product of W with itself is zero. And the product of W with the chart is zero. But since our inner product is non degenerate this is possible only if W is zero, uh, which implies since uh, is. Oh, yeah, the positive definite. Yeah, it's positive definite. W is zero because both is minus D minus D is zero. That's what it is. No, the second is that the second is that <laughs> so you are uh, going uh, so the power. Since this is equal to this digit, I can write it like this u minus v x equals zero. And this is true for all x. But since this is uh non degenerate, uh this is possible only if this is zero, because if this vector is not zero, then there is some x so that this in the product is not zero. But this is always zero, therefore this thing cannot be non-zero. Yeah. Because non limit, and vector for this who each other was super x vector was. But this is
Hani biraz fazla uzattığımın farkındaydım da kestirmeyi göremedim. Evet. evet. İler kadar dördü tamam bileşemeyecektim ben ama aslında sıfat kadar bir şey tamam. Sadece tek sıfat olarak böyle anlaşılıyor. Evet. Ona e, inner product lafı etmedim değil mi? Inner product, scalar product aynı şey. Tamam mı? Ee, yok ya onlar aynı şey. Hocam sol taraftakine nasıl pozitif definit dedik? Şu WW'ya. Şuna da diyor. Evet. Yani, i̇ni product veya skalar product onların tanımı da var zaten. Bu pozitif definit olduğu için W sıfır. Basically this is pozitif definit that W uh, is zero. Yani onu kabul ettik zaten pozitif definit olduğunu. Ya yani inner product uh, space or so uh, scalar product inner product uh, it just five linear symmetric and pozitif definit form for example. Any filter definitely on the other side of the world, but it doesn't turn it back. You positive definitely on the other side of the world. Any one Pozitif sayı diye bir şey yok. Kompleks sayı var. Yine simetrik tablo değişecek. Simetrik de olmayacak. Şey yok. Evet. Evet. Örmüşüm. Yani simetriyle eşit değil de simetriyle konjugesine eşitse onlara işte şey diyeceğiz. Örmüşüm diyeceğiz. Efendim? Evet. Tabii ki. Yani kompleksli simetrik e, anlamı bu değil. Conjugate simetrik anlamı. Okey. Şimdi tamamdır. Burada bir exercise daha var. Onu da yapalım. Ya da bunu size ilgi sayesinde yapayım. Burada bu operators are equal Yani bu ne demek? Şimdi evet, net, net, net, net, net. Üç ön olmayı. Evet, bu da bariz olur. Net, net, net. Var, net, net. Net, Uh, şey. 
Yok yok. Ya yani bu yine inner product space. Ama bu uh, this is clear from exercise one actually, right? You just call this you you you uh, inner product y is b inner product y total y of course implies u plus u. So this is clear from um, But this is something we will use a lot, okay? Okay. Okay, for tomorrow basis, so let's define what it is. <clears throat> uh, two vectors. In that inner product space. Uh, so let me just write it like this, for example, in a product space. So we have a vector space and in a product uh, are called orthogonal. If the inner product is zero, okay. In this case, you also write this. You and we are orthogonal to each other. Uh, their inner product is zero. Uh, of course, this is, uh, you know, coming from the following. Uh, Facts and widely call this is orthogonal. Well, for vectors in R2, R3, right? And if this is the standard inner product, then this is norm of U, norm of U, and that cosine theta, where theta is the A group between that, right? So if this is zero, uh, if these vectors are not zero, that both of them are not zero numbers, therefore, uh, cosine theta has to be zero. And this implies what? If this is the vector u and this is the vector v, then the angle between that has to be pi over two. So uh, this gadget just is equal to the fact that the angle be, uh, the angle between these two vectors is uh, you know 90 degrees uh, at least for the standard vector space or you uh, the space structure on R2 and R3 and uh, you know this is just the uh, definition originating from that observation. Yani R2 and R3 de bu iç çarpım buraya eşit olduğu için bunu sıfır olması bu ikisi gerçekten birbirine dik olmasına denk ve genelde de işte eğer bunlar bu iç çarpım sıfırsa bu vektörlere biz ortogonal diyoruz. Tamam mı? Evet, evet. Yani sıfır vektörü her şeye ortogonal.
Peki orta ne olmalı ne? So a second definition. Okay. Uh, actually, I should say the last one. It can be any index. Uh, or the world. Or the world. If the following happens, of course, we are in the product space. If e uh, uh, lambda e mu, let's say, is equal to uh, one if this is a state zero otherwise. In particular, of course, in particular, uh, yeah. In lambda, in lambda, which is just log square, right? Is just one. So if this is the case, uh, then uh, we say that this set of vectors is uh, orthogonal. Okay. So that orthogonal at each vector is norm one. Okay, they are orthogonal to each other, but uh, they have all norm one. Example. Let's say this is our end. And the uh, I is just this vector, zero, zero, zero, and then we get uh, one in the I component. Then, uh, with the standard inner product, so standard inner product, you do, you get HI, I go on to n. U is this digit. U is this digit. Then uh, the inner product of E i and E j. Sorry. What is the inner product? So it is. Uh, it will be one if i and j are the same, otherwise, it will be zero. So, this is just turn it to that idea. Therefore, this is an orthogonal set. And if an orthogonal set is a basis, then we say that it's an orthonormal basis. The base is uh, beta consisting of the uh, basis beta, uh, which is also and for the normal set is both and for the normal basis.
Okay. And next time we will prove the following theorem. Okay, what is the one? Yo, e cause okay. I'll write it next time. Uh, we will prove that every uh, to be uh, finite dimensional inner product space is an orthonormal basis. Okay, I can always find a basis uh, consisting of uh, orthonormal basis. They have all that one and they are orthonormal to each other. All right. Uh, any questions? <laughs>